How's it going, everyone? Back with another stream. I should probably update my stream title because I'm actually going to be playing back to some Abzan. I don't know if it'll update through the Twitch phone app, but. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good week. I know I promised to stream on Wednesday, but my schedule got all switched over like how it usually does. Um, so, I'm going to be streaming today. Today's Thursday. Um, I'm going to turn off this light real quick. But yeah, gonna be playing some Abzan. I haven't played Abzan. Well, I, I, I played a little bit of Abzan in between me playing Rock. I know we've been playing, uh, I've been streaming Rock a lot lately. Um, because that was kind of the best black BGX version. Um, and for, the, for those who have been like following me for a while, you know, I've been a diehard Abzan, plan, uh, Abzan player. <clears throat> and it's kind of the point where Linger Souls just isn't good anymore. Sad to say, like, maybe White was worth it when KCI was legal and Stony Silence is... was was worth it. But now, not so much. Um, now... Uh, I mean, maybe there would be a lot of artifact mox opal decks that pop up that make Stony Silence better, but as of right now, I don't think so. Um... But I just kind of, since I don't have any GPs on the West Coast of everyone that's coming out, I'm not going to GPLA. I figured it's time to but, uh, dust off the old Abzan again and see if it's as bad as I think it is or if it's workable, if I can make any changes. Um, I played a couple leagues with the centralized version. And it was not very good. I uh, did not have good results. I felt like when I was playing green-black, the matches I lost, I felt like I still had a chance, but when I was playing as an, I felt like Lingers will just felt really bad in hand. But it's just a small sample size. Uh, I actually don't think I... I was actually going to make a change before I started the league. Oh, I do have an hand in the suite. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this is the list that I posted into the group. I haven't made any changes. Uh, but I do want to make changes before I start the next league. Um... I think the first and foremost is probably doing a 3-3 path push split. I was debating of adding a Kalidus. And I think 4 push is better with it. But since I'm probably not going to have a Kalidus, I'm, I'm going to make a 3-3 path push split. Um, after that, um, I was thinking of adding an Anafenza uh, uh, instead of a Tireless Tracker. Um, with 22 lands, Tireless Tracker seems pretty mediocre. Um, I don't think I can gain enough value off of Tyler's Tracker. But then again, like, the centralized list ran 23 lands. Uh, so cutting a land, knock on wood, shouldn't make too much of an impactful difference. But who knows? Um, but since Arc Like Phoenix seems like it's going to be uh, one of the most played decks online, um, having a main deck answer that I can cast on turn 2 with Noble Hierarch, Seems pretty good. Um, so, I think Anafenza might be worth it. Uh, we'll see. I've actually only played one league in the history with Anafenza, I believe. Uh, and she kind of didn't do much. <laughs> but then again, even those in those non interactive matchups, she's a really fast clock with Nola Hyrek on turn two. She beats for five on turn three. That's pretty aggressive. Um, so this is the change that I would make. The other change I want to make is I would actually add a Settle Wreckage to the board instead of a Damnation. Because with Noble Hierarch, there, there, uh, we're going to obviously have more creatures. Um, so with more creatures, Damnation gets a little worse. Uh, still all the Wreckage kind of plays around uh, my creatures. I'm going to have to learn how to better not signal, I guess, having Settle the Wreckage. <coughs> I think that um, 
that's going to be a skill that I'm going to have to learn to kind of bait my opponent into attacking with everything. Um, so that's just, just going to be something I'm going to have to learn. Um, I might cut this tracker for like either a Siege Rhino or another Abrupt Decay or a Kalidus if I end up going down that road uh, or even something like a Knight of the Reliquary just to have another big beater. I don't know. Like Tyler's Tracker is one of my favorite cards so I don't want to not run Tyler's Tracker. Uh, but just in 22 lands I just don't think it's feasible. Um, that being said, I mean, I'm just, I guess I'll just try the Cletus for now, and then just go from there. Um, I don't know if I, if there's a better card for that slot, and maybe it could just be a fourth Veil. Um, then again, having Tyler's Checker on turn three with the land drop seems pretty good if it gets powered up by Noble Hierarch. I don't know, maybe it's better than I think it is with 22 lands. I don't know. I, I actually haven't played with Noble Hierarch in a very, very, very long time. Um, I think the last time I played with her was when Twin was legal, and that's when I didn't really like her because she just you get your land bolted, and it, it's kind of all the feel bads. But I mean, if you would, they waste their ball on Noble Hierarch and let your Grim Flare live, that seems pretty good. I mean, Noble Hierarch and Grim Flare seems pretty good together on paper. Um, so. So yeah, I think let's just give this a go. Um, I mean, I could also see a main deck spell bomb over the Tyler's tracker, and then this makes room for no, uh, something else in the sideboard. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think let's just give this a whirl. Hopefully, our noble heart does not get gut shot. <laughs> That'd be the worst. go from here uh this was the, this result was with the centralized list that i was running with i went two three um i lost to gosh i remember i know i lost to jun shadow and i beat glory control and i beat well, i lost to uh jun shadow four color shadow and uh, Mono Red Phoenix. I beat Blue Eye Control and that Grixis War deck. So Story Signs was really good in that matchup. I forget the first match that I lost to. Um, let's just go for there. I should probably also edit the deck list. Uh, sure. I have Noble Hire. <laughs> with a with a with a Grim Flare, so. I should probably update my deck list here so if people want to um, how do I save this I forgot how to save this uh, export <clears throat> sorry my opponent uh, wow Tyler Shocker's pretty good here. Uh, B for one? Pretty good value. <laughs> so this looks like it's like Mono Red Phoenix or something, or I don't know. That'd be my first bet. If it was Mountain Go or some sort of Red Prison deck. I don't know. Or it could be Burn. <coughs> uh, let's dream Decker. Um, should have done this beforehand. Forgot. Hearts in. Confirm. So hopefully, uh, this deck is viewable now. If you guys do the exclamation mark checklist. Oh. Okay. Blood Moon. Just like Mono Red Storm. It's just F6 through this turn. <coughs> oh, 
Wow, he drew. He had four rituals in hand. That's insane. Interesting. Awkward that I have a noble hierarch that I can't attack through. This is an interesting list that my opponent is playing. Uh, luckily, his fetch land should do work. This makes it really sad that I don't have enough, a lot of abrupt decays in my hand or in my deck. <clears throat> huh. <clears throat> I'm gonna fetch a swamp here just to play around Blood Moon. I think I'm just going to start cracking clues here. Maybe I should crack main phase to play around lightning bolt. I think let's do that. Because the worst thing that could happen is I get my Tyler's tracker lightning bolted. Uh, last hope. I don't think that's worth playing right now. Let's just crack more clues to play around lightning bolt. <coughs> Uh, the second Noble Hark is pretty good here. That means my Noble Hark can actually tack through in the Snaring Bridge. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm just going to pass the turn here. Be a little more uh, conservative. That's kind of weird how you attacked, because they have to attack, and that's just free blocks for me. I mean, I guess I could not block and then like play around lightning bolt here, because like Tyler Striker is just gonna definitely just help me dig. <clears throat> Get a third black source. I mean, I could pass the Golden Rival Master. I feel like they had like a. I don't know if they had a four drop or something like a Chandra. <coughs> And even then, like, there's no way to, to do that. Maybe it's crack just to crack as many clues as I can. Like, playing the, the, the Lily on the last step isn't going to do anything. So maybe it's crack just to pass the turn. And just crack clues. I guess it doesn't hurt to crack one clue right now. Just to see if I can draw more land so I don't waste a land drop here. Like that. <laughs> like there. Yeah, so uh, Tyler Striker with 22 lands, I guess it's still pretty good here. <laughs> uh, small sample size, but. So he's just making blockers, huh? So I think I'm just going to path this uh, Rabble Master. Prevent some getting too crazy over here. <coughs> I mean, we're like one abrupt decay from like going crazy or Maelstrom Pulse. Or Assassin's Trophy. So two trophies, one decay, and one Pulse.
Fate of Wish is a good draw. Because I could just also just Fatal Push. Depends on how aggressive I want to be. I, uh, I could Fatal Push the Eidolon. Um, Lily and Last Hope this Goblin. And play the high arc, and then attack with the high arc, and just kind of get damage in. So one, two, three, one, one. I don't think that's that bad. I think, let's, I think I'll do that. <clears throat> so like mono red prison is just super weird. But what do you do? Hopefully he doesn't play some sort of sweeper. <coughs> That's a good draw. I'm going to start cracking clues here. through all this. Mm-hmm. Got a bunch of basic planes. Really play around Blood Moon. Well, there's a trophy, but not enough. Maybe I should have tapped differently. <clears throat> that was a probably a punt. Yeah, so the Noble Hierarch, huh? Pretty good against the Snaring Bridge. Oh, well, this Tireless Tracker is doing a lot of work, too. Yep, there's a Chandra. I just decay the bridge here. Attack with tracker and flare. I wish I joined another land. Get threatened lethal. <clears throat> Let's plus here. And then let's attack. Oh, got to decay the bridge first before I declare attackers. Let's do that. <clears throat> attack Chandra here and I'll attack my opponent with the Grim Flare.
You guys should have been uh, trying to deploy more threat, checking more alpha strike. Maybe that should have, maybe I played this game a little, uh, maybe played this game wrong here, but. Wow, I didn't want to trade the Mutaball with my Grimflare. <clears throat> I think here you're just gonna play multiple threats. And then hold up trophy if need be. <clears throat> That's fine. Can you just draw another bridge? If we if we drew a double bridge back to back, that'd be insane. Um, so, Mono Red Prison. I don't really know how to, I don't really have much tech against this. I mean, I guess I can bring in Fulminator Mage. Just because it's castable through Blood Moon. Um, I guess I can see Languish coming in against like Goblin Ravel Masters and stuff. Excuse me, or like Settle the Wreckage. But if they have a Blood Moon, Settle the Wreckage is pretty bad if I don't have a Noble Hire to play. Maybe more like one Languish because they have like that Monstrosity Dragon dude. Um, Whatever, Stormbreath Dragon, I think it's called. Um, I guess I can see Fatal Push getting cut. <coughs> it only hits Goblin Ravel Master, which is relevant. It's relevant for sure. Um, maybe the Collect Brutality isn't as good. Because, I mean, it kills Ravel Master. And then that's kind of it. I mean, I, I know, and I like my interaction with Goblin Master, uh, Goblin Rabble Master at instant speed. Maybe Last Hope isn't that good. She didn't really do anything. They must do that. <clears throat> I mean, maybe Chef settled the wreckage against this. I don't know. I think we can just try this. I can see boarding foam layer mages, or just yeah, just boarding a foam layer mages, keeping them off high mana, just having a card I can actually cast. But it doesn't really do anything. It's just a two-two. It's just like a Simeon Spirit Guide for me. Just super awkward. I don't know. Let me just try this. <clears throat> Sounds okay. I can play around Blood Moon. That's good. Playing around Blood Moon is good. <coughs> Ritual under Blood Moon. Chalice on one. Interesting. I'm gonna hope to draw a forest and I can just draw, um, and then I can just fetch another swamp. But that didn't happen. <coughs> I'm 
I'm not sure how effective Chalice of the Void on one is against us. Seems kind of sketch, to be honest. Hope everyone's having a good Thursday. What's this dude doing? A grade. Interesting. Luckily, I got three more Groom Flares, huh? I guess I should play the Windswept Heath just to play around Blood Moon even more. It sucks that it makes these two lands come and play tap, but I don't want to like have this and then draw on the Lingering Souls or something when they play a Blood Moon next turn. I mean, maybe I should have played the Wildwood just to play around Chandra. Like that. And I can attack into it. Yep. That's really awkward, because if I, if I want to fetch the basic planes, I can't cast Grimflare and Tarmogoyf. That's really awkward. I think I'm going to play the Tarmogoyf. And then play the Wildwood. Man, that, that ended up being super awkward. Me playing the fetch land instead of the wild one made it super awkward. <clears throat> I don't know what else would be my opponent's hand. He just went turn 2 Chalice, turn 3 Braid, turn 4 Chandra. So he doesn't have any rituals unless he's top decking rituals and just is opting to just... He doesn't need it. Or are just going to spend a lot of mana here? Snaring Bridge. Okay. So I really need a top deck. So we need to hope that my opponent has really expensive spells in hand and then I can attack through with lingering souls <coughs> otherwise that Chandra's just gonna win the game which is unfortunate Topa's hand is just like two Chandra's or just even like one Chandra That would be the most ideal. Another opponent cast a nine creature spell. Interesting. So it's just like another idol on the of uh, the Great Rebel. <clears throat> oh man that was an interesting way to sequence those cards Okay, so I'm going to need um, a lot of help here. I I really tapped horribly here. Not that it really mattered, but that was really bad. <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess you can just play the genre there. I don't see why you wouldn't. I just needed a Bup Decay or a Trophy, and I'm okay here. That's all I need. And I'm, like, right back in this game. Oh, this is awkward. I'm holding the Gala Shrine for Tyler Shacker, obviously. <clears throat> um... Just gonna F6 through this turn. Hazaret. Okay. So I have no way to deal with Hazaret either. Because there's a chalice on one for my path to exile. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know if I have any outs that I, need, I can string string through together. Um, what sucks with that draw is I kind of incentivized to pulse the Chandra here. I need to go like run a runner into like decay and trophy and stuff. Because I can't let Shonder ultimate here. <coughs> I'm just going to concede. I don't think I can win this game. There's no waste in wasting time. I need to go run a runner in there. Um, don't think I can make any changes here. <clears throat> Your staring bridge and blood moon. That's a good combination against us. Sad to say. Um, sure. I mean, we have interaction. I'm gonna fetch basic swamp. And then... Probably... And then go to... 15 or... 14 and cast Tarmogoyf. Well, I can't beat... Two blood wounds with this, so I guess I'll just take the ensnaring bridge. And then hope to get there with this Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> I just hope he doesn't draw a ritual or a Simeon Spirit Guide. So he goes turn one blood moon. That'd be the worst case scenario here. Then I need to literally draw a basic forest or I'm done. Just thinking about it. Oh, are you serious? Did he draw the... Oh my god. He's going to turn one blood moon me. That's brutal. Basic forest. So I need basic force or basic planes to to even come back here. Play the idol on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
It is brutal. I mean, I, I, I still have time. Oh god, another Eidolon? I can't even cast that spell, but... This is brutal. If he plays a Robin Master, then I'm just... Oh, another Blood Man, that's fine. <clears throat> He's attack burst. Let's play around if I remove a spell. The thing is, like, if I draw a basic forest, I I can win this race with this Tarmogoyf. Like, I'm not out of... It's not out of the realm of possibility that I can win this game. Or even a basic planes. I just need... I have a two-outer here. Two out of 49 cards. Oh, not looking good, boys. Um, merits are getting slim to none now. I probably need it now. Oh, that's too late. Uh, I think I have one more turn, realistically. I mean, they can just top deck Chandra, and then that's almost game over. I think I have one more turn. No attacks. <coughs> Man, getting Blood Moon feels really bad. Did you just click there as attack? Is that why I didn't die yet? So technically, I still have one more turn. Technically. That's game. Just needed to fade one ritual. And I did not. That sucks. I mean, that's what we get for playing a three color mana base, right? Like, having a noble hierarch in opener would have been really nice there, but. Just to really, really play around Blood Moon. Oh, man, getting Blood Moon does not feel good. Like, that hand was really, like, our opponent's hand was really anemic. Like, if they didn't have that ritual, we could just slam Goyce and just race their idol on, which is easy, easily done. Um, it sucks, because that mono red prison deck is just, like, all over the league, too. So it's just, like, a trap. Like, you'll just randomly get paired against it, and you're just like, God, it's, like, the worst feeling. Especially if it's, like, your first match, you're just like, God... Sure. Got all my colors, got a bunch of removal, got interaction. Needs a threat, but... Elves. Um... Easy to take lead the stampede here. Not even close. So the, our hand lines up pretty well against theirs for sure. I think I'm just going to Brutality here, so that it turns off their Dwayne's Elite. <clears throat> yep, that's fine. If they play a Dwayne's Elite with no value, that kind of shows how weak their hand is. Probably should have played the Temple Garden. I'm just sequencing my lands wrong here. Wow.
Yikes. Uh, I'm going to need some action soon here. I guess it doesn't hurt to attack. I'm definitely not going to block the commands lead here. He's stuck on two lands. Nope, not anymore. This is bad, because now he's going to be able to untap with Elvis Archdruid. That's scary. Who's scavenging is? <coughs> he's going to have access to at least six mana. At, le at the minimum, seven if he plays the Zuri first. Uh, I'm gonna need some removal off the top, or this is not looking good. So he has one unknown card in hand. One, two, three, four. At least he can't overrun this turn, which is good for us. But we need a removal spell off the top right now, or we are donezo. Yeah, we are actually done though if we don't have a removal spell off the top. I wonder how if my opponent's gonna play in the sell the record or not. <laughs> I hope he does. Okay. I mean, I guess this is a free attack on his end, essentially. Like, I need a removal spell right now, or I am dead. I have to keep the fetch land uh, intact in case I draw a fatal push. Yeah, that is pretty much game. I mean, I just drew really bad that game. My draws were Noble Hierarch and Scavenging Ooze and then three lands. So, that's not really a good recipe to win the game. Oh, that's brutal. We had a good start, too. We just couldn't draw out of it. I mean, I missequenced my land drops, but like, it, 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 even if I sequenced my land drops correctly, I, this wouldn't have helped this draw. <laughs> so just I guess bring all the removal let's shave some last hopes I mean shave some veils <clears throat> souls probably go like that this is really greedy I'm just hoping I have a, a land my second or third draw I think I'm gonna have to mulligan this. This hand's fine.
This painful mana base is really bad. <clears throat> Going to 14 on my own. I feel like Grimflare is the key in this matchup. Like, you, you just have removal in hand, you just keep digging to removal. It sucks that I couldn't push the Elf end of turn. That would have been really good there, but... Just gonna have to plow through this nettle sign at all. <coughs> gonna fetch before I get the trigger off Grim Flare. any of these cards. I want actual removal spells. So I think I need to just mill them all. And I played instant speed. Removal spell and that will make my Grim Flare delirious. I could fatal push those land whirls, but I mean maybe that might be a good idea. Just to keep them off, like collect a company mana. But then if they collect a company, I think I have. I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather say my rule for like the lords. This is where things can go bananas. I have to like push the heritage druid with whatever this is on the stack. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to fade to push this heritage druid in response to that. So he doesn't have any more mana. This doesn't feel good at all. This does not feel good. It's a really cool card though. The art's pretty cool. It's an elf too? How is that an elf? I mean, he's wearing a hoodie. I guess you can't really tell. The tiniest mouse speaks louder to me than the festival crowds on Tint Street. It's a good attack. It's a good attack. I think I'm just gonna have to pulse this duder. I could also pulse. No, I think I have to keep the scavenging was on defense, surprisingly. Because I'm going to lose this race. So I'm going to attack with the Grim Flare first. Just to see what they do. Uh, 
Because I'm definitely going to pulse that Beast Whisper. Might as well see if they do some weird block or something. Push this Assassin's Trophy. There's some good cards. Assassin's Trophy first or push first? I think I can draw the push first. Because I have the path for whatever. Grimflare is like the MVP in this matchup. Like if you can get a Grimflare going and just start chaining removal spells together, that's just that's just how you win the game. Just keep them off of any important spells. Sure. <coughs> He's going to draw five cards off of this, isn't he? So I'm gonna play this Noble Hierarch and attack with this Grim Flare here. And I have a trophy on top, but let's see what else I could draw out of it. More removal. This is exactly what I want. Um Guess I can go for decay first. Looking good here. He's gonna alpha, that's pretty scary on his hand, to be honest. Take three, I think that's fine. If he only plays one more creature, then... Oh, never mind. He can tap with Nidal's on, so I forgot. I could also just force blocks here. Yeah. I could also just force blocks. I don't think that's a bad idea. I think this is a safe attack, it's just attacking with both Scavenging Ooze and Grim Flare. He's kind of forced to block my Scavenging Ooze, which is just, which forces a block and doesn't um, use up any of my removal in my hand. <clears throat> And this represents lethal. So yeah, so he has to block there. Um, I'll get a trigger. Put the path on top so I can triple removal spell. 
So the next turn I can attack it with Groom Flare and then just kill all the blockers. <coughs> Assuming my opponent doesn't represent lethal here. Interesting. Maybe I should put trophy on top so then I can play decay now and then play the trophy next turn. That might have been the better play. I think it's safe to just path the clan caller here. Because I'm going to need this noble hierarch to stick around <clears throat> for the exalted. Yeah, and that's going to be game. Because I'm going to just attack with this Grim Flare. This is good. Grim Flare is just the MVP in this matchup. Like, that's how you win against elves. <clears throat> you just get a Grim Flare going and then just, just keep topping removal after removal. Like they need to like go m multiple click to companies where they can't win like where they can't beat it. This sounds a little sketchy. I wish this was a Grim Flare. That'd be the most ideal. Sure. I really need a sweeper off the top. Like hands like these where you're very removal light, you kinda need a sweeper to help you, I feel like. <clears throat> wow, crater hoof behemoth. Jeez. Just like EDH or something. <laughs> So he's gonna go Elvis Mystic Dwyden's Elite. That's that's a pretty good turn there. <coughs> so he's not overextending no sweeper. I mean I guess he doesn't need it right now. Kinda signals he has a land that he Drew off the top. Um, man, this thought sees is painful. So, do I want to lose to Crater Hoof? I mean, he's just kind of all in the mana, right? Like. So I think I just take the crater of here just to stem any bleeding of mana. Because I feel like he's just going to get to 8 mana anyway. Oh no. Please whiff. Uh, I guess that counts as a whiff, and I'll take it. Uh, 
I need to not draw lands though. That'd be great. I really need a languish here. <coughs> a languish off the top would be really nice. I mean, more removal would be good too. Obviously. I only have a lonely fatal push. I'm kind of flooding a lot both these games, uh, all the games I've been losing. So I could take, is there a difference between 5 and 4? I mean, I can cut him off mana here for next turn. Go to 5, go to 3 with, because I want to shock here. Go to six. Go to four. I think it's, I think it's best to just conserve life here. Awkward. I know there are two cards in hand. Take the Azuri. Uh, one, two, three. Take three. Just hope. Top of my opponent's deck isn't much. Oh, Visionary is a good draw. Just more action. <clears throat> my opponent's definitely just willing to have my life total here. Okay. No, what do you draw? Oh, okay. I mean, chaining those visionaries is, is a real thing. Like, the only way I can beat this is like a lingering souls or something. Okay. Settle the records would be really good here. Settle the records! Oh, that's like the literal opposite of what Settle the Records does. Um, I just need to hope my opponent whiffs, and then I can att and then I can block with Shambling Vent. It feels like a dismember for the channel, man. That's gonna be bad. Block here. I guess block here. One, two, three, four. So I'll go to two. That's a good way to stabilize. Ha <laughs> 
Oops. I just hope there's no lords. Lords would be the absolute death of us. So I just need my opponent to whiff a couple times, actually. Like, we're pretty, st we're stabilized here somewhat. Maybe I should attack with Anifenzo there? If my opponent has Collected Company, he should definitely, oh, okay. He doesn't have Collected Company. <coughs> I wonder if it's worth attacking here. Anafenza and Shambling Vent go to five. I'm not dead to a lord, but I'm pretty close. If <clears throat> Just try to gain some life back. Yeah, maybe it was correct to attack with that defense last turn. Ooh, this is close. I really hope my opponent just whiffs. That's not a whiff. that <clears throat> um that sucks we're so close to crawling back there I like how big she is though. And if it has a 4 4 is actually really relevant there. I don't know, this, this mana base is really painful. And it's really relevant in these kind of matchups. <clears throat> Uh, do I lose? Um, block, 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 block three. 
take eight. Yeah, I'm 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 dead. <laughs> Just wanted to confirm. If I had a removal spell, if I had a path, I would still be alive. But I sadly am not. Just block here, block here, and I'm dead. Take eight. Man. <coughs> this is not good. If I lose this next match, I'm just going to stream rock after this. Because I'm not sure how well this is going. And it's not going very well. I really like Noble Hierarch though. Like, Noble Hier Hierarch changes just the way the deck plays. That Exalted is super relevant. Getting that extra green mana for scavenging is relevant. Just being able to double spell uh, earlier on in the game is relevant. Sure. Got interaction. Lingering Souls is was well, a good top deck there, but Andrew in the Facebook group put it really nicely. Where it's just like trying to stop it, like, a, like trying to stop bleeding of a severed leg. Like you're fucking gonna die. Like, <laughs> like oh, you can block. Like it's stabilized there, but it doesn't actually win the game. I mean, a sweeper would have been nice, but no, oh, no. Goblin guide. Come on, window collective brutality. Well, I have all the removal in the world, so, I mean, I just hope he has more creatures than burn spells. I actually should have played this fetch land so I could fetch a forest with the burning catacombs. That was a misplay. No harm, no foul, I guess. <coughs> oh, I fetched. That sucks. Oh, man. I'm gonna play this fetch line just to hold with fatal push, and then I can play tireless shark next turn. <clears throat> My opponent's flooding pretty hard too, so we have that going for us. But Eight. 
Oops. Oh crap, I misclicked. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, that was... Not that extra clue matters that much in this matchup, but Jesus Christ. Man, that's brutal. I really miss Siege Rhino in this matchup, for sure. My goodness gracious. Seven, five. We're gonna have to attack here, so I just might as well just pulse it. <clears throat> Try to. Increase the clock here. Fetching the planes to activate during Wildwood. So we need my opponent to whiff. Twelve plus twelve plus so twelve four so five nine and twelve. Okay, so we have lethal following turn. So I think it's safe to crack a clue first. So we need a point to whiff, like we need this draw step right here to be a blank. So we, we, the, we, the way we lose this game is if our opponent has a bolt now and draws a bolt. Because he needs to tap out to activate his Ravenite Ruins. <clears throat> so we have lethal now so I mean he, he's short one point based on what's known so we need to we need to fade or I guess yeah we need to fade both cards to be bold Wow, we wow we faded that. That's insane. That's unbelievable. So take out the thought seizes. Forward in brutality. Fulminator mages for their Ramanap ruins. <coughs> She's like a mono red Ramanap ruins. Probably should do something like this. I don't know. This is really bad. I don't know. Just I don't know. Just something about hey, something about playing Abzan just doesn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so used to. Um, rock that just taking just going to 14 just based on just playing the game just feels really bad oh my <coughs> I 
I'm gonna just play Totem Noble Hierarch first. Play Noble Hierarch and then like collect Brutality and Path to Exile next turn. I think it's best just to not play Noble Hierarch and hold a Path Exile. Oh my. Is like two Swiss spheres. Nice. And then I can just brutality escalate all the way. Ramping him sucks, but at least we get to class collect brutality, cast collect brutality next turn. Three modes. I think I discard Fulminator Mage and Noble High Arc. That was a good turn for us. Lava Spike, Lightning Bolt. Let me just take the Bolt. Easy peasy. <coughs> so Spike us and then play Eidolon. Sounds good to me. So we're gonna go to seven. When all this is settled, I wanted to fetch a forest with this because if I fetch a forest, I can't cast the next turn. If I fetch a swamp, like Liliana kind of gains no value here. So I think I just path, play Grim Flare, and then just hopefully get good triggers. <coughs> that collective pattern is really good for us. So we're at seven, so. Because we can't go to five. I guess I guess the difference between seven and five is minuscule. I don't know. Okay. Darn. Gonna mill them all. I don't think we need removal. Okay. I mean, luckily there's no Boros charm, so like we're okay on that front. I really wish I. I guess I should have attacked first with Grimflare. I don't think I want Fatal Push. Is Fatal Push better than any other top deck? I guess not. I'm gonna have Lethal, so... I guess I'd rather have Removal Spot to push something and then go from there. <coughs> Okay. 
So we need a fade one draw step. As it usually is with versus burn. Like it always comes down to the top deck. Uh, since I have a fatal push, I guess like doesn't matter. I could just tack ball. I'm gonna conceal information here, because it doesn't matter what like, I'm just gonna I just need a fade here. <coughs> Hope it's a goblin guide. Or Eidolon. Goblin guide or Eidolon. Wow, okay, cool. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right, be right back. I'm gonna use the rest real quick. <coughs> Okay, dokie. Let's just continue on. Hopefully, I can rally back. Lost the first round to Mono Red Prison. Lost to L second match, and then just beat like Mono Red Burn, like Ramonat Burn. I don't know if it's more budget. I think losing white is pretty bad. I don't know. I don't know why you would not run white. <gasps> Excuse me. I want to get paired. This is a little start running. Running back, um, as you can see, just the list that I post in the Facebook group is a little different than here. Um, running at Fenza, running at 3 3 path push split. Um, I'm all in this. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh my god. Oh no. What shenanigans am I playing against now? Chalice Law. Just another stupid Chalice of the Void Mono Red Prison deck. <clears throat> I mean, mulligan a basic forest is pretty good for us. I mean, it was fortunate that we mulled on those basic forests, because if they cast Blood Moon on us... What's with these stupid Mono Red Present decks? This is so stupid. It's unbelievable how... It's two in this league already, that's insane. So, no lander, or no, no third land, which is good for us. Oh, maybe there is. Oh, buddy. I guess I could play the Liliana first. Do I want to pressure them? I think we should play the Goy first. Cast Dotsies. Oh, he has a Chalice of the Void on play. I am so dumb. I mean, it boosted my Tarmogoy if I guess so. There's really no harm, no foul, but that's brutal. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, 
Okay. Think I have another one. Um, I think I just have to attack Chandra. Get her far from ultimate while I can still. <laughs> Fitting. Well, that means now I can't cast uh, any removal on the bridge. I'm just going to concede. I guess I had outs with Liliana, but I don't know. I'd rather just not play this through. <laughs> uh, at the last hope. Just bring in the full name images. So most things are like, it's not really tilting that I'm losing this matchup. It's just tilting because like this just isn't good data. Like playing against like this mono red prison deck that just is only present online. It's not present in paper at all. It's just it's kind of tilting. It's like it just doesn't it doesn't really represent how well this absent deck really is. I mean, I guess if it can't be Blood Moon, it can't be Blood Moon, right? So, like, maybe that's just good data in itself. But, like, it's like, yeah, we, like, we already know this deck loses the Blood Moon. I'd rather play against, like, Phoenix or, like, Tron or something just to see how well this deck still plays against. Um, keep it on top. Get some play around Blood Moon here. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, I, that's it's just not good data playing these these matchups here. Like losing its L sucks. I mean that's that's good data because L is still played out. But like this deck is just like I'm mean, just gonna get like, turn one blood moon here. But it's like I don't know. It doesn't. I feel like like losing to these matchups. Like go. Oh hey, like I did. Like I went one through four in this league. But like these matchups are just notoriously bad for us, and it's just not played in paper. So just like it's just. I feel like it's just misrepresenting the data here. And it's just gonna be Chandra. Oh man. I want to save the trophy just in case shit is the fan, and then I have to um, trophy like a planeswalker or something, or an ensnaring bridge. I mean, I'm fine if this trades with this uh, war boss here. <coughs> Shut the race, whatever points has in hand. I don't want. We can race that.
These boys are big boys. They're good in this matchup for sure. Having that extra toughness. <coughs> I mean, these hierarchs help plague around Blood Moon, which is nice. See what's in my opponent's hand after I attack here. I guess I should have been correct to cast the Thoughtseize. Ooh, Hazaret. Goblin Marrow Master and Hazaret. And I thought was going to concede. He should just concede before he let the Thoughts resolve, but. Who oh else? Um, here, I'll probably just run it back. This is a good hand if my opponent doesn't turn one Blood Moon me. For the love of God, are you serious? Oh, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I, I can let that guy live one more turn, I think. Let's just want to make sure my next plays are safe. Because I don't want to path him into something ridiculous. <coughs> Okay. Lingering Souls would be insane right now. <clears throat> it's just, ugh, I don't know. Basic Forest. Basic force. Come on, just one time. Yep. Okay. Thing is, do I want to expose my my tracker to an abrade off the top? I think I just have to just play this guy or a Chandra. If I put on a top deck Chandra, I'm just dead. So I'll just play it out.
okay. Um, uh, I mean, I guess I just cast this. <clears throat> Go to five. I haven't seen any lightning bolts, so might as well. At the exile would be a, a okay draw here, just so I can draw into a like, into a black source. <coughs> oh, buddy. Yeah, I'm locked out. Oh man, this like it's just miserable playing against that matchup. Obviously, it's just it's just obviously bad, but like, I guess I just it's just annoying. It's like it's just I feel like it's just a waste of time. It's just not relevant data here. Like, like that matchup's obviously. I mean, it's obviously better for Rock, but like, what percentage of the meta is this stupid Mono Red Prison deck? Like. The rock obviously has a better matchup against it just because it doesn't fold to blood moon like that and i have a lot more effects i have like two decays one pulse three trophy for engineering bridge so it's just like versus this deck i only have one pulse and uh two trophy one decay so you're short like two or two ish um sources to kill bridge on top of just like you just can't cast your spells like two uh four swamps two forests is a lot more relevant than uh, trying to uh, manage three colors, be able to cast everything. It's just frustrating. It was like I was just trying to get Absent to work, and it's just not going. It's not going well at all. Um, take the grape shot. <clears throat> Play Tomer Glyph here. It's the fastest clock, and the next I can play Scavenging Goon and Exile. The Grape Shot. It makes my Scavenging Goon not prone to a removal spell here, so. I can also just play Liliana on the battle and start pressuring the hand. <clears throat> Should have probably veiled plus first. I mean, he has no bridge. Ooh, discarding gifts I'm given. <coughs> Interesting. That means he probably has another one. Hot. 
probably top the steering visions. <coughs> the good news is I don't think my opponent can go off here unless he has Ritual into Metamorphosis into Mana Dude, but like he, I already know two of the three cards, so top and bottom first steering visions. Top and bottom again. So we still know most of the cards. Repeal. So he's still keeping the lands in hand, which is super interesting. My opponent also isn't drawing any rituals, which is awkward. I mean, he might be topping with Serum Vision and stuff, but... I mean, having the Scavenging Ooze in play is really good for us. Topped it, so... Plus here, make the goif bigger. Oh, I forgot to exile and turn with scavenging ooze. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't bite me. I think I'm gonna try to present lethal here. <coughs> Unless he played this island and I just didn't pay attention. I don't know what. I don't know. My opponent played that really weird. I don't know why he discarded Gifts and Given. That just seems wrong. Um, bring in the Yard Hate. I like the Languish. Just have a way to deal with Empty the Warrens tokens. Um... <coughs> Discard last hope. Shave a path. Probably cut all the path. Oh, actually, let's cut the trophies. Trophies is a lot worse than path here. We can shave a, a path. Shave a souls. Probably cut all the paths. They sometimes they board out their mana dorks, but let's just go for that. Let's just do this. Good hand. Discard into rule spell or discard into clock. Grimflare is this is one of those matches where Grimflare is also really fucking good. Obviously, it's just like those inter uninteractive matchups where you just need to dig to hate. Uh, Grimflare is really good. Uh, empty the warns. That's scary. That's really scary because my opponent can ritual into Empty the Wardens and I'm just naked to it. 
my opponent top decks another ritual. If I if I take the ritual opponent top decks another ritual, he's just gonna always go into the empty pan and I'm screwed. And he has two shots out with a mana morphos. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna just take the ritual here and because I have no answer to empty right now. I could also surgical the empty, but that seems a little loose. All right, surgical the pyretic ritual. <clears throat> I'm like tempted to par surgical the pyretic ritual now. Cause this just like dead ends what he's trying to do. Some brawl is what's left. Which is awkward because our quick brutality doesn't kill it. Let's thought sees here. Opt. I'm going to take the pieces here and then brutality, they empty the warrens next turn. Because if it goes ritual into empty the warrens, that's fine. That's just four goblin tokens. I can definitely beat that. Um. Um, I don't think I can beat him getting value off of pieces of the puzzle. It's fine. <clears throat> or I guess it's six tokens. Wow. Uh, I'm going to need some help now. Oh, just, just the perfect, huh? Oh, I guess I should have taken the empty. That's just me being dumb. Yeah, I should have just taken the empty. I'm just being stupid. Because, like, if he, take, if he does pieces, I can just brutality what he does after that. That's just me being dumb. I'm just gonna concede. Oh man. Oh, I. Oh man. Okay. I'm running back. Yeah, why didn't I just take. I should have just taken the. Just didn't do the math. Uh, turn two, Liliana Lavelle's pretty good start. Grim Flare is also a good card. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I start pressing the hand. I think I'm going to play Turn to Veil first.
Like this is the ideal start for us. Obviously, turn two veil, like don't want to pass that up for sure. I'm just gonna discard noble hire here. Hey! Hey, babe. Cast a Grim Flare. And if he tries to like bolt my Grim Flare, I can fatal push my Noble Iron, which feels bad, but. At least my Grim Flare lives. <clears throat> Oops. <coughs> That's a good way to fight through Liliana. I'll be done in like 10 minutes. Just uh, spit patrol, pass in flames, side of hand. So he has empty the warrant in hand. So I'm going to need help here. I'm gonna need help uh, trying to clear those empty little worms. Maybe it's correct to just ditch the fatal push. But so you're gonna like ritual into empty the warrens. If that's the case, I can just. Ultimate here. <coughs> and just like split the empty piles. Like split the tokens on the lands. Hey, no barking. It's a lot of empty tokens. Gonna ultimate here. Oh, this is miserable. <laughs> like, how would they do this? I guess start with all the tokens, I guess. How many tokens do we have? One, two, three. One, two, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. that I can't really tell what's going on here <coughs> that turn to veil was pretty clutch Definitely wouldn't mean the game if I do end up winning this game because that ultimate was very timely. It's kind of a tough decision for an opponent. It's eight goblins and brawl, no lands, or four goblins and lands. Wow. Okay. I can also just trade with a bunch of goblins here. <coughs> I can also just protect the Siliana. Better just attack. I expect the souls, get some blockers. Because I can definitely win this race here. Because now my green player is just going to attack through with Exalted. Disappointing with the result, but two of my losses were to Mono Red President. But Noble Hark's pretty good in Abzan. I feel like if we were to build on Abzan, Noble Hark is definitely the way to go. Um, I mean, I think the deck needs a little bit more tweaking, but I mean, I think we're off to a good start. The, the two losses in Mono Red President, I feel like just shouldn't count. So being Storm, losing the Elves, and um, What did we beat here? Oh, burn. So, I don't know. I feel like we have something okay as a starting point. I'm not really impressed with Anafanza. Uh, obviously, we didn't play any matchups where she's good against. Maybe Tyler Shagger is just better, but 
I don't know. We'll see. Other than that, um, we'll see what we can do from here, but I'm not sure Stellar Rockets is exactly the best. Maybe Engineering Explosives is better just to have a more targeted removal spell. Um, at no point where I was like, I really want Stellar Rockets, except for Elves, but even then, it's kind of iffy because they don't really go all out. They're pretty conservative out their attacks. Um, well, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you guys next week. Take it easy. Bye.